Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, make sure to hit the subscribe button. My name is Mackenzie, and today I'm going to be doing my room tour for 2020. I am a sophomore fashion merchandising student at Kent State University, and I am living off campus this year in my sorority's house. I am an alpha fee, and I am living in the manch. I am going to be doing a separate video for our whole apartment. It is apartment style here, but for today's video, this is just going to be my bedroom tour with my roommate Griffith, who is helping me film this video today. You can probably see her in the back of the mirror, but um, hi. So this is our room. I'm very excited to show you guys this, and I'm gonna start off by showing you what it looks like right when you walk in the door. So this is the view right when you walk in the door. You see directly my bed. So this is my half of the room, and right here, I'm gonna start off taking you guys through my dresser. Both of our rooms came with just the bed, you know, obviously a dresser and that's all you get in here. That's furniture wise. So our dresser is actually pretty spacious and it's got like five different drawers in it and it's pretty tall. I decided to take mine out. Griffith kept hers in the closet. The only reason I took mine out is just because I have such an abundance of clothes that I really needed to utilize my closet space and it fit here. So in my top drawer, I just am keeping all of my bodysuits, my tank tops. If you guys watch my videos at home, I'm sure you know all about the bodysuit drawer. This drawer is already pretty full, as you guys can tell. I just have tons of like smaller crop tops and stuff like that in here. So in the second drawer, this is where I'm keeping all of my denim. I am a sucker for jeans. I've got a lot of them, but I tried to leave some space that way as I grab more pairs over the next few months, I can fill them up. And then in the third drawer, I've got all of my leggings. They are in color order. I have a crazy amount and I actually sent my mom home with a bunch, but I just have them all folded up right there. This drawer is kind of hard to like get back in just because this dresser is really old. And then down here, I have got all of my sports bras just kind of laid out. And then over here, I've just got some biker shorts and like random sports kind of clothes, I guess. And then in the very last drawer, I keep all of my skirts. I've got biker shorts, leather leggings, like my Sphinx, just like fun, funky bottoms are in that drawer. So then over here, I have actually got my little nightstand. This is from Ikea and it's the Alex five drawer set. I picked this up and my sister helped to build it. I had the nine drawers in my dorm room last year and I decided not to bring them and get the smaller version just because my bed is not fully lofted this year in the dorm room, I had it lofted. So I wanted something to be in line with it. And this ended up being the perfect height for my bed. So in the first drawer of these, I've just got all the essentials, my Bible, random things like my hard drive are in here. Gummy bears, of course, those are my nighttime staple. I've got all my masks over here in this cute little section. And then I've got a journal, some scissors, just because I do open my mail in here and AirPods. I always keep the first drawer of my nightstand as kind of like a junk drawer. And then in the second drawer, this is where I keep all of my glasses. I had this in my last room too. I keep all my fake glasses on one side, my blue lights, and then over here I've just got tons of sunglasses. If my roommates ever need something funky, they can always come in here. And then in my third drawer, I just keep all my underwear. I like to keep like all of my that kind of stuff in here, I guess. And then I have got bras, sticky bras, and socks in the fourth drawer. And then if you come down to the fifth drawer, this just kind of has some filming equipment slash stuff I use for the blog. So my tripod is folded up in here. I've got some wrinkle remover and I've got my steamer in here. Honestly, I haven't reached in this drawer yet, but it's there. And on top of here, I've got a coaster from last year. This is from Target. I've got my Amazon Alexa. I get so many questions about what kind of Alexa I have. I will leave it linked down below. Everything throughout this video, if it is in stock, I will leave it linked below. Um, so that way you guys can purchase. But I love my Alexa and it's awesome as a speaker, alarm clock, timer, all that stuff. And then over here, I just picked this lamp up actually last week from TJ Maxx, but Target sells a very similar version, so I'm gonna leave that linked below. Griffith, where is this from? That is from Hobby Lobby. A little Hobby Lobby light. Griffith and I haven't put like any words in it yet, but I really wanted to keep this space on my dresser relaxed. Like I didn't really want anything on top of it. Just wanna keep it pretty clean. My computer's on it right now, but I just figured this little light would be cute. We just haven't added anything to it. And then as for my wall, I do have a Kent, Ohio print over here. This is from Mapiful. I have one for my hometown at home as well, but I got a Kent one for here. And then all of these other prints throughout this room are from Desenio. They have tons of prints. They're really affordable. And all of the frames that they are in 
These two sizes are from Ikea, and then the smaller ones are all framed by Walmart. Okay, let's talk about bedding. So Griffith and I actually have matching headboards, and we do have matching comforters and matching bed skirts. So that is one of the reasons why our room looks so cohesive compared to some of the other girls in the band, just because we do have a lot of things that match. So that's nice. But these white headboards have the cutest like little gold glitter, I guess, on the sides or bedazzles, they're bedazzles. Mm -hmm. um, these are from Dormco. I used to work with Dormco last year and I did a bunch of reviews for them. And they sent these over for me to do a video for their YouTube channel and Griffith and I kept them with the intent of using them this year. And they look really good in this room. Obviously, as you can tell, we went with white, blush, pink, and gold as our color scheme. And then our bedding is from, I think it's Laura Ashley is the name of it. I'm pretty sure that's the name. I will leave it linked below. This is from Bed Bath & Beyond. They make this in a twin, they make it in a king and a full, I believe. And it's so comfortable. I had a um, comforter from Urban Outfitters last year and I, like within a couple months, I changed it out because I didn't like it. This one's much better. And it's not the kind that moves around. This is like, is it a duvet, not a comforter? I, it's a comforter. It's a comforter, not a duvet. Yeah. Duvets like have the insert. Um, this one's just a comforter, which I like because it doesn't move around. So. I will kind of like lift this up so you guys can see what I have underneath. I've got a pink blanket in between my sheet and the actual comforter itself. This is from Kate Spade and then I've just got white sheets on my bed. These are from Bed Bath & Beyond and then the white bed skirt like I said is from Bed Bath & Beyond as well. I have two pillowcases from Kate Spade. They're just plain white, solid white. And then these pink pillows I had last year in my dorm and I was really happy that I could reuse them this year. These are from TJ Maxx. I believe, right? Yes. TJ Maxx. Griffith has the same ones from last year too. And then this gold and white polka dot pillow is from Ikea. The insert and the cover are from Ikea. I also had this little gold crown pillow in my room last year and it is from Target. And then my husband pillow is from Dormco and it's kind of just tucked in the corner. I have my bed obviously facing horizontal and so I'm like right pushed against this window and there's a, like a two inch window sill right there and it kind of dips down. So I've been keeping my husband like just tucked into that wall. That way I'm not like falling into the window sill at night. These rooms actually come with like blinds so we can put those down, but I really wanted to add curtains, not only for filming purposes, this room gets absolutely terrible lighting. If you guys couldn't tell, it's kind of hard to navigate. We've got artificial light right now but white curtains definitely help. These ones are really sheer. They're from TJ Maxx and I grabbed them in a four pack. I'm not really sure of the brand of them, but I will try to link a similar one. We just command hooked hooks to the wall and grabbed a tension rod from Ikea and then we hung those up on both windows. I'll show you Griffiths in a little bit. So that's the bedding situation. My bed this year is much more comfortable than the dorm bed just because there is a box spring, a mattress, and I kept my topper and my mattress pad on it and I have slept like a baby since being here. So I'm very happy with our bedding situation. Over here, it, Griffith has a little nightstand and this is, the nightstand itself is from Wayfair, but the knobs did not come with. The knobs are from Home Goods. She had this in her room last year and that's why I'm really glad we ended up picking this color scheme is because a lot of the things from last year we were able to reuse this year with the exception of the comforter, but my comforter was so gross last year I threw it away. So for the most part, we were able to reuse a lot. So like I said, Wayfair, and this is from Target. I love this lamp. I think it's really polished. Griffith's got a bunch of like her little books and stuff like that. These two drawers are hers, so I'm not gonna go in them, but I have two drawers in here as well. And I've just got sweatshirts in one of them. And then in the other one, I've just got t-shirts. I haven't really filled up this drawer yet just because I don't really need I can't really figure out what I would need in the space yet. So as I get more clothes throughout the school year, I'm sure that will fill up. I also didn't really talk about under the bed, but our beds do have bed risers. They came with them in the room and they're just like the standard like square-ish kind of ones, you know, that you grab from like Target, Walmart for a few dollars. So we do have a little bit of space under the bed. I've got one under the bed storage container. I'm not really sure if I'll be able to pull it out. Well, here you can see what the risers look like but I've got one under the bed storage container with all my sweatpants in it and then underneath the bed I've just got empty Ikea bags that way when I go home I can pack up a bunch of inventory and I do have my hunter duffel bag down there which is what I use when I go and take photo shoots so this is Griffith's bed it basically looks the exact same as mine as you can tell because we do have the same stuff 
This pillow, a couple people asked me where it's from. She said that it was customized for her. Someone gave it to her, so sorry, we don't really know. Um, but the frame and the G are from Hobby Lobby. And then the Griffith sign is from Etsy. And this, one of her friends from, no, what, her art teacher helped her. Yes. So that's Griffith's bed. And then this cute little pink throw blanket is from TJ Maxx. Griffith's also got a couple of little like squishmallows. That's what they're called, right? Yes, everyone um, in the match has them. Except for me, I'm not a stuffed animal person, guys. Griffith says she's gonna convince me to get one. We'll see, stay tuned in vlogs. You'll see if she ends up getting me. <laughs> um, and then this window by Griffith's is like a single window, whereas the other one's a double. So the curtains look a little bit like smaller here, I guess. You know, they're a little more squished together, but these are a matching pair to the ones over my bed. And then this mirror right here, I don't know where this is from, Griffith, where is this from? It's from Amazon. Amazon, this is Griffith's mirror, and I think it's really cute. This is where I've been coming so far to take my outfits of the day, just because I haven't gotten a huge try-on mirror yet to take my outfits and my try-ons for brands in. That mirror is going to end up going in our living room, just to add something to that room, and that way I kind of have like a place of my own to just sit down and work for brands but we've got this mirror here to like when you get dressed in the morning. So on this wall, the entire wall is a closet. I don't know if you guys can tell yet. I'll have Griffith like kind of pan so that you guys can see, but it's literally all gray curtains. This entire thing is a rod. This rod does not come with curtains on it. We had to buy the curtains. There's four curtains on here and they're both sets are from Ikea. They're the exact same ones as you can tell. Most girls at the mansion do keep curtains over their closet just to give it more of a polished look so you're not like looking directly into it. And I think the gray is really great. I'm gonna be using this as like my try on background for hauls and stuff. So I wanted something that's neutral and I do think that it breaks up all the white and the pink in this room really well. So you move them like all to the sides basically you know that's how curtains work but I'll show you guys my half of the closet so moving all of this to the side I'm pretty sure all of you guys expected me to have a full closet already but I actually we've only been here for like five days by the time we're filming this video and I wanted to come with as little stuff as possible just because I do know that with the amount of mail I get and stuff that this area would fill up really fast especially because I do hang new inventory I don't keep it in dressers so I brought tons of black velvet hangers. I keep all of my stuff on matching black velvet hangers. I'm really psycho about that kind of thing. These are from, I usually get the big pack from Costco. You can get black velvet hangers on Amazon, TJ Maxx, Home Goods, like wherever. But Costco is where you can get them the cheapest. They sell them in a pack of 50 for like, I wanna say it's less than $20. They're an awesome price. So that's where I always get them. So I'm just waiting to start hanging stuff up. Over here, I've gotten my first few pieces of mail so they're hanging up, ready to be photographed later this week. And then I brought just a couple of jackets, which honestly is probably silly because I bet we'll be sent home before the time comes that I wear a jacket. But I've got two different dresses just because I hang up my dresses. And then I brought just a few basic sweaters. Honestly, most of these are cardigans just because those are essentials, closet essentials for me that I rewear. Whoa that I rewear constantly. And then over here, I haven't really found a good way to store my belts yet. I am looking for like a little belt hanger, but I don't have one yet. So I just have all my belts like hanging over a hanger. Um, to some, this may seem kind of silly and like an insane amount of belts, but you know what, I, I am who I am. Up here, I've got some of my heels just because I am considering getting a second shoe rack. I just haven't gotten around to doing so yet. So I figured I would keep all my heels up here for right now got my camera bag up here and then I've got three of these little um, like storage collapsible cubish kind of things these were in my dorm room as well and I just keep like random things in these it's a little bit easier having a room this year obviously we're living in an apartment so like I don't have to keep my kitchen utensils and all that stuff in my room the way we did in a dorm room so there's not as much random stuff throughout the bedroom area but in here, I've just got things like a toolkit. I've got random alcohol wipes, just kind of like random stuff in this one. And here I've got something for school and then all my laundry and like cleaning supplies are in this one right here. And then in here, I have all of my little crossbody bags. I didn't bring a lot with me, but I did bring a few accessories that I reach for quite frequently when styling outfits for the blog. Obviously, I'm not going to class and wearing a cowboy hat, but I wear my cowboy hat very frequently for vlog pictures, so it's something I brought with me and I'm just keeping in this 
closet space right here. Now I'm down on the ground and this is the second half of my closet. I've got a shoe rack from Bed Bath & Beyond down here and can you guys believe I got all those shoes from my room down to this in this bedroom. I left probably um, four fifths of my shoe collection at home. This is about a fifth of my shoes but I've got as many on here as possible. I've got some boots, a couple pairs of slippers, shoes, I mean sneakers, more sneakers, and then down here I've got some of my flats and sandals. Over here I have these like little white drawer dividers. Those are from Bed Bath & Beyond and I intended on using them in this room, but I realized that I don't really need them right now. However, I didn't want to send them home with my mom just yet, just in case I decide to like rearrange some things in my dresser itself so I kept those they're just kind of sitting there and then over here I've got a new pair of shoes from Express that I have to take pictures with and I just have those here because they're underneath the new clothes that need to be photographed and then over here on the right I've got my dirty laundry this is just you know a laundry basket that collapses that's from Costco and then I've got my bag that I've just been carrying every day over here I want to hang up like a command hook here that way I can keep it hanging but as you can tell, if you are someone who is moving into the mansion, I'm sure there will be girls in future years who watch this video to kind of figure out what's going on. Um, if you can tailor your curtains, I recommend doing so. You can tell that they're so long, just kind of hanging on the ground. But um, honestly, we just decided not to go ahead and like cut them when we got here because I want to be able to use these curtains in future apartments and stuff but we're considering pinning them up since we don't want to get them altered. But if you do want to get them altered, I recommend doing it just because they are pretty long and kind of just hang on the ground. But I, I love having a closet where you can just, you know, close the curtains and it's automatically clean. And then the last thing in our room is the rug. This rug is from Wayfair and Griffith had this in her bedroom last year and it looks so good in this room. I'll admit the carpet in this room is not that cute. It's like kind of like hotel carpet-ish the way it looks. So I do recommend grabbing like an area rug if you want just to kind of make the space feel a little bit homey. All right guys, that is going to be all for my sophomore year room tour. I really hope you guys enjoyed. As always, I will leave links to as many things as possible down below. If there's not a link to something, it's probably because it's old or sold out. They don't carry it anymore. So I just don't have a link for it but I will do my best for you guys. Stay tuned because I will be doing an apartment tour where you guys will see our bathroom, our kitchen, our living room, and a glimpse into our other roommate Emily's room. And I'll also be doing a house tour of the whole Alpha Fee Mansion so that you guys can see what else, you know, like where we're living. So hope you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye guys.